Welcome to the Agfa Technology Learning Center. Here we have the Annapurna H3200i LED printer, which is a 10 foot wide hybrid system capable of optional dual role capability. This ergonomically designed machine is perfect for customers looking to do various media in different thicknesses, sizes, and a quick swift changeover from rigid to roll mode. Today we'll be going through a couple different exercises to show you how an operator interacts with the machine to produce different applications in different printing configurations. Our first exercise will be printing 4x8 rigid. Right now we're standing at the output side of the machine where our front panel has a series of four switches. When printed in rigid mode we use two of these switches, the set bar which drops down onto the belt and then the vacuum. An operator can use the media input tables to help slide media um, along onto the belt. The belt is covered by four different vacuum zones indicated by each of the four area areas across the belt. Once we enable the vacuum zones that correspond to our media size, an operator simply comes into the interface, determines the media thickness, and they're ready to print. Right now, we're going to be printing in a draft mode, which is the Annapurna's fastest mode for a total of 41 boards per hour. The Annapurna's intuitive interface comes preloaded with all of the required print settings to produce the best quality in any given mode. These print settings include the resolution, passes, lamp settings, and anything required to produce the best visual and physical print characteristics. Right now in draft mode, you can see how fast both the shuttle and the belt are moving. The LED lamp on either side of the shuttle cure our ink instantly. One of the benefits of having LED curing on our printers is the fact that we have minimal heat transfer onto our substrate. When it comes to printing on any sort of heat sensitive, thin or low cost media, our ability to load these materials into the printer allows us to expand our media scope. Draft mode is best suited for images that have low coverage, fine text, as well as barcode. Because of the instant curing, we'll notice in this mode that the um, finish of this type of print has a very glossy effect. Switching out media on the Annapurna is as easy as three simple steps. Dropping the set bar, changing the vacuum zones accordingly, and then entering the new thickness. Thickness in the Annapurna can either be entered manually or it could be automatically detected by a small needle that's recessed within the shuttle. This needle will gradually lower until it detects the media and then it will input the thickness into the GUI. The interface has an information bar at the top, so when switching out between different media types, an operator always has an indication on the top what the thickness is set at before they hit print. In the instance that an incorrect thickness is set, the Annapurna is equipped with crash sensor bars in front of the print heads to make sure that anything that's raised up will initiate those crash sensors and avoid hitting our print head. When printing heavier coverage images, the Annapurna comes equipped with different types of image enhancement features that dither in between every path. This dithering allows for a feathered effect to get rid of any types of artifacts for the smoothest reproduction of solids and skin tones. The Annapurna comes equipped with a total of eight Konica Minolta print heads in CMYK, light cyan, light magenta, and white. Moving over to the side of the machine, we have a drawer that contains all of our ink tanks. Each tank has a sensor in it indicating to an operator when inks are low. Filling up ink on the Annapurna is something that can happen on the fly during printing, so no need to stop production to maintain the machine. The white ink tank on the Annapurna is equipped with a recirculation system to keep the white ink stirring so pigment doesn't settle in the head. As well, there's another ink tank for storage flush, so whenever you're going through a long-term shutdown of more than 60 hours, the, col the color ink can be replaced with storage flush 
and then later swapped out when it's time to start production. The Annapurna uses ACFA formulated inks with a thin ink technology. This means we can reproduce colors with the highest gamma and saturation with the thinnest ink load. That's great for adhesion. Whether we're printing 4x8 boards or multiple pre-cut sheets, the mechanics of the Annapurna can be easily manipulated to allow an operator access to the base engine. By rolling away the input and output tables, an operator can gain access to the belt, where the set bar is lowered and a series of unscrewable pins can be moved to place up to three boards across the printer. In the interface, we have a multi-queue setup that reveals the printer in three different areas. All an operator has to do is add each image to each area and identify the starting point and the width of the media. Because of the ergonomics of the Annapurna, depending on your sheet size, media can either be loaded from the input side or the output side. All of the switches that control the Annapurna are reflected on both sides, as well as the GUI swivels from the front to the back to give the operator flexibility in how they want to work. Right now, we'll be printing a color white color job on acrylic using two different images. The list of color configurations that we have available to us at the Annapurna gives us limitless application support to be able to produce up to five layer job in one single run. Our color white color print with two different images on the front and the back produces some pretty impressive effects when put onto a light box. We have one image without the light and when we turn on the light, we can see a ghost image from the backside show through for a really creative effect. As well, using spot white, we can create different types of masks around an image um, to allow different areas of the image to show through. This over here is um, a movie poster for a horror movie called It. Front lid, it looks one way, and when we turn on the light, we can see a ghost image of a balloon pop through. All of this can be produced in one run on the Annapurna H3200i LED printer.